Hey guys, it's Aaron with Six Scale Fishing. I wanted to come and talk to you guys today about one of the most effective but overlooked setups in bass fishing, the Carolina rig. Let's head over to the bench and I'll show you how to get it set up. First thing I always like to start with is a six gill straight shank offset worm hook. I prefer the straight shank offset worm hook over the EWG just because I feel like the bait lays a little bit flatter on the bottom. So when you're fishing a Carolina rig, one thing you want to keep in mind is you want to make sure that the weight maintains bottom contact. That's, that's the point of a Carolina rig. So your weight, you always want it on the bottom. Um, anything with weights, I will throw anything from a half ounce bullet weight all the way up to a one ounce weight. Um, I also will throw them in a round weight uh, and I will also throw them in a barrel weight, which is going to be those differences there. But what I personally like to do is I like to use a barrel swivel. Okay? And I'll kind of get into depth of this, uh, this as we go along. First thing I always do is I always set up my hook line. My hook line is going to be less pound of test I use um, because with the Carolina rig you'll snag more often because you're dragging the bottom. So I always will run 12 pound fluorocarbon um, and I'm going to run it roughly anywhere from 24 to probably 36 inches um, in length and that would be after everything's tied. So with the hook tie, the knot is, is kind of critical. Um, you can tie a uni knot on there, um, you can tie a polymer knot, but I like to tie uh, what's called a knotless knot. What you want to do is you want to take your line and you want to go through the eye of the hook forward. And then you're going to lay this down and you're going to take your main, this part of your line, your main line, and you're going to actually just wrap it. And I always recommend doing at least five to seven wraps. So when you get it wrapped, it should look like that. And then you'll just go ahead and put your finger on that so the wraps don't come off. And then you're going to take your, your end, your main end, and you're going to go right back through that loop, through the eyelet of the hook. So when you pull it tight, what happens is it will actually cinch that knot down so it looks like that. Almost like a snell knot without the actual snell in it. And then from there, what you're going to do is you are just going to tie your swivel directly to this line. So the weight, everything, nothing else will be on this line but the hook. You can tie this on with a polymer knot, uh, a uni knot, just even a standard fishing knot is fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie this on here. And I'm just going to polymer knot this real quick. And again, you want to make sure that your polymer knot is tight. Clip your tag end off. And that'll go ahead and complete your leader and hook section. Pretty much it's going to look like this. It's about 24 inches, maybe 28 from start of your swivel to your hook. Make sure that you clip this off. Obviously I'm just leaving it on here for video purpose. Now let's go to the main line. So main line, 20 pound fluorocarbon. Invisex or Seaguar Red Label is what I prefer. This is how you're going to set it up. You're going to run your weight first. and then you're gonna run your bead. Bead, to me, is crucial because you are dragging the bottom, your weight's gonna get caught, you're gonna have more feel on the weight while you're dragging along than you will the hook until you get a bite. Um, a lot of times what'll happen when you're pulling a Carolina rig is you're gonna feel every little thing, you'll feel a rock, you'll feel tree stumps, you'll feel when you hit onto a sandbar or a soft bottom, you'll actually feel that weight dig in a little bit. It's perfectly fine, it's nothing to worry about. You might feel what seems like you're snagged. The best way to tell if you're snagged or if it's a hit is not to quick hook set, but take your rod and just slightly pull it. And when you pull it, watch your, the flex in your rod. Stop about halfway and look at your rod tip. If your tip starts moving or is ticking, then it's a fish. Sometimes what happens is the fish will actually pick the bait up and swim towards you. But when you're slowly dragging, what that does is that slows the weight down to a point where the fish can get past your weight. And that's where you'll feel that initial bite. Other times, they're just going to hit it like a regular worm bite. You'll feel like a tap tap. Best thing to do is don't hook set real quick. Reel down until you feel your weight and then hook set. That way you get a better penetration rate into the fish's mouth compared to pulling the bait away from the fish. So let's talk about just securing these two lines real quick. 
All you're going to do here, obviously you can't polymer knot it because you're already tied to here. So what I like to do is simple. I will run what's called a just a regular fisherman's knot. Some people call it a clinch knot. Um, pretty much I'm going to take, make, have both my lines. I'm going to pinch them here. I'm going to run this line over my finger. Okay, so it's going to create a loop. There's a loop right there. All you got to do at that point is take this line and just twist it around. Recommend about four to six turns depending on how heavy pound test you're running. Go right back through the loop, pull it straight. That's it. Fluorocarbon, make sure that you wet it and pull it tight. When you get it pulled tight, click your tag end. So when you're set up, there's your knots. You can see the differences in the pound tests. What this is going to do is this is almost going to give you a breakaway system. As I mentioned earlier in the video, a lot of times with Carolina rigs, you will get hung up because you're dragging it through foliage, everything of that nature. That's where this is key. As long as your leader line is less pound weight, the actual hook line, if you get snagged, you're 99% of the time, you're just going to break your hook and your bait off and you'll actually keep the swivel and the, and the weight and the, the bead on. Now keep in mind, Carolina rig is not just for throwing worms or creature baits. You can throw anything really on it. Um, one of my favorite things to throw um, is like a craw bait. And again, that's just going to depend on the time of year and how deep I'm fishing. But this is probably one of the best but overlooked baits and rig setups that you can throw. Um, just because you don't hear of it a lot anymore. But it's super effective. Um, again, with this, I'm going to rig this bait the same way I would rig a Texas rig. So I'm going to go straight to the barb, go straight in, hit the barb, come straight out the bottom of the bait. Take the bait, run it all the way up. Here's the good thing with this knot. You can cover your whole knot, the line, everything with that bait. Pull it tight. You're still tight. You're still good to go. Take this. You're going to make a mark with your finger where it would lay flat. And all you're going to do is put the hook in, let it penetrate through the top of the bait. So just like that. Now keep in mind it is going to stand up a little bit because you do have the straight shank here. It's not, a, it's not like an EWG hook or an offset. All you have to do is pinch it and let it go. Now you're straight up and down. So what will happen is this bait's on the bottom and this is pretty much the movement that you're going to have. So you'll still have the tail flutter, everything of that nature in the water, but you're pretty much, this is a concept of a Carolina rig. You can every once in a while get to have a little bit of more action in the bait, uh, where the bead and the weight come into play is you can always give it just, you can give your rod tip a little jerk and you'll get a little bit of a, a popping noise where that weight's bouncing off that bead. And that'll, that sometimes will help attract a bite or help entice a bite. So this is just the basic setup of a Carolina rig. No, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Go out to your local waters and try it. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them down below. Hit the subscribe button, the like button. We'll see you in our next video.